so something that we do here that I think we're really proud of is that we are all working professionals. So when we say this is the way things work in the industry right now, we know that because probably yesterday we just finished a job. So this semester alone, I've done, uh, I guess semester in summer, I've done two animated series, four audio books. Uh, I'm just about to go in rehearsal next week for Doubt. Um, so when, when I say, hey, this is how you get cast, or this is how you self-tape yourself, I know that for a fact, because I literally just did it. Classroom to make sure that when you graduate, you graduate with a professional resume and know how to compete. I cannot tell you the amount of times that I've had alumni come back to me, and I've only been here six years, and say, wow, I had a leg up on everyone in that room because I knew what they were looking for, because you told us that. There's a lot of personal contact here. Our doors are always open. Even if they are not literally open because we're in the middle of something, we are easy to get a hold of and work with and talk to. We go out of our way so that our skill classes are no more than 16 people because the industry needs you as a performer, right? It doesn't need factory stuff. It doesn't need the same performer. It doesn't need another one of me. It's already got me. It needs you. And so we make sure that we know who you are, where you're from, and what makes you tick, how you get your best performance. Um, we don't focus on one style of theory here at Austin P. We want to give you as many types of theory as we can so that when you get out there and your director says, oh, let's do a Meisner exercise, you know what that is. If your director says, we want to do some Grio work, you know what that is because you've done it before. We're not a factory. We're not a school that says we are Meisner only, we are Stanislavski only, we are viewpoints only. It's about how you get your best performance, and that's what we teach you here, how you can find your way, not our way. Um, I kind of answered this in the other one, but I'll do it again. Uh, so I've got two animated series going right now. Um, I just finished an audiobook last week uh, for a new series called Fey Wars, uh, which is about um, uh, fairies and dragons invade New York City. I'm about to go into production on Doubt. Uh, next week I'll be playing Father Flynn. Um, and then I'm also about to go into production on a new audiobook, which is a comedic horror book that takes place in a trailer park. Um, and honestly, I can't remember the title of it. I'll remember the title of it when I start doing the book. To have their minds opened a little bit, maybe? I, I don't... The way that I was taught to do things is not necessarily the right way. It's not wrong. But, but I look back and I think of all the things that have been left out from, from history and theory and all these things that, that we never talked about in, in classes. If, if someone was not an old, dead, white person, we didn't talk about them. We only talked about old, dead, white people. And, and I, I think when you come into my classes, you should expect to try to look at things in a new way. Maybe open up your experience in the world so that you're looking at things through a new lens. Um, I also think when you come into my classes, you should expect to work and expect to think about what is going on in the industry, not just ivory tower theory, but how can I actually apply this to the thing that I'm trying to do in my future. I think the most important thing for any student is to figure out what do you want? We may or may not be the answer to that. I mean, I would love to see you come here and study with us, but if we're not the answer, that's cool. Like, you should go where you want to go. What is going to be the best fit for you? Use us as a resource to do that. I have no, you send me an email and ask what goes on here, that's fine. I am always happy to do that. And if that puts you somewhere else, be somewhere else. That is 100% okay. One thing that I will warn you about is watch out studying with big names because they might not always be there. Uh, when I was an undergrad, I was studying with a big-name director, and of the 16 weeks that I was supposed to have him in class, he was there for five of them. That was it. So, sure, that guy's name is on my resume, but did I actually learn anything from him? So, I would say when you're looking at these big-name schools and big-name people to study with, make sure that they're actually going to be there for you. 
to help shape your career.